Hey guys, Squirrel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Rick and Morty. Last week on Rick and Morty, uh, we focused Swap. on the true relationship of this show. Freaky Friday. Jerry, Rick, and the creature that they became. Jericky. Jericky, yes. Mm -hmm. Garrett! <laughs> Jericky! Uh, we had a poll last time. Though. The poll was, because we had an after credit scene, will memory Rick make a return? Deep, deep in Jerry, there is a memory of Rick, right? Is, or, is that what it was? Yeah. In Jerry, yes. Memory gene. Yeah. Will that make a return? We had 40% of people say, no, it will no. not be addressed again. But 60% said he will return eventually. Uh, Rick also has a memory of his younger self in his mind that was never mentioned again. So, you know, sometimes things like that do pop up. So this has already kind of happened before. Uh, I feel like we will bring back these random pieces of information when we least expect it. They do that sometimes. Maybe they're creating sometimes like a, they do. Uh, an Avengers of Rick inside <laughs> memories. Get Tiny Rick, yeah. Pickle Rick, Memory Rick. Exactly. Y'all didn't notice, but Memory Rick is actually already a returning character from a past episode. It's the memory of a 30-something Rick inside Bird Person's mind. Last season, Rick had to go into Bird Person's mind and ended up teaming up with a memory of himself. At the end of the episode, Memory Rick escaped into Rick's mind as a separate consciousness living inside Rick's memory. So yes, I do think we'll see him again, but less Rick Prime, probably not more than once or twice a season. Hmm. Gee, so I technically, remember, I remember it's that. the same one. I, I have a vague memory of it, but... You know, I watch a lot of shows, and that was a while ago. Yeah, a vague memory of it. And Rick and Morty has, you know, a big track record of having a lot of things happen. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but that's cool. That, that did uh, link back there. A vague memory of memory, Rick. Uh, and then I think he has to return. Mostly because since he's in Jerry's brain now, mm -hmm. brain now, uh, it'll be <sighs> some interesting story potential if Jerry develops access to memory, Rick, somehow. Hmm. Okay, so like he can access the memory Rick, use his intelligence. Yeah. Even though he only believes there's springs and gears inside every electronic. Be like being haunted by Rick, I assume. Like hmm. possessed? Maybe. I don't know. I Let's imagine see. that hmm. Rick can escape if, from yeah. the inner workings of Jerry's mind. He can. He's been trying. Um, maybe he'll succeed. There's maybe he'll there. develop some kind of gear spring technology. Yeah. And he'll actually be able to do it. He did. It's called art. Art. Let's watch some art. Do you need to take that? No. President. Just the president. Maybe we should turn off. Keith David, right? Mm -hmm. You're extra analytical today. Looking to remodel your kitchen? Attention. I know yes. you're in there. <laughs> in 1961, the CIA secretly relocated the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> like Gary. Placed her bones with titanium. She was then bit by several werewolves, oh giving us the ultimate anti-submarine weapon. Got it. But the Soviets smuggled in a leprechaun <gasps> who turned Nessie's bones to silver, giving her the wear version of AIDS. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not dating your shrink. She probably doesn't even like me. Stand down, Sanchez. Tell him to stand down. Would you let him bang your therapist? I don't believe in therapy. Ooh, what the hell does that even mean? You don't believe in it. He's a Scientologist. Don't date my shrink. And don't be a space Mormon. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Sorry. Worship how you want. I like Tom Cruise. Thank you. Therapy is working. Keep it in your pants. So they said there's a Loch Ness monster. They moved it and swapped out its bones for adamantium. Uh, ti titanium. 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 But they turned it into silver and he got Titanium. Then we so had, then werewolves He was got bitten it. by, yeah, yeah Loch Nessie was bit by several werewolves. And then the Russians snuck in a leprechaun, which turned Nessie's bones to so silver. Wear aids. And then she sank to the bottom of the lake and now uh, she's like hungry. Is that what we're doing now? Welcome back to Mr. Stabby. Interdimensional Let's TV. Let's get another question from the Must audience. Be. Why do people get tickets to his tapings? It's a fan right? says culture. Mr. Stabby. Mr. President. I got an emergency, Rick. Another president mission? You, you just killed the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. Why, we missed it? Yes, he. Damn it. I've seen this one anyway. The audience dies. No. <laughs> Spoilers, Rick. Rick, thanks I for coming. I think We've got a situation in the state of Virginia. Bigfoot? That's Montana. Nazis? That's uh, everywhere. <laughs> Jesus, Carl, you too. That's the everywhere. problem in Virginia is love 
What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Virginia's for lovers. Virginia has declared herself literally and exclusively for lovers. <laughs> It gets worse. There's no crime, no poverty, and suspiciously, no complaints. The governor just hit a 100% mm. approval rating. And that's worse? A 100%? Get on the web, Dwayne. There's no such thing as a 100% of anything. America knows and incinerates a cult when it sees one. <laughs> yeah, but there's something missing. A psychology expert, perhaps. Oh, fuck me. You pretended to need a crack team so you could get Wong's number? Get her number? I own the CIA. If I wanted, I could get her genome. <laughs> <laughs> There's three billion women on this planet that have nothing to do with me. Can you blame them? You suck. Free danger! Wow, that's great, Big buddy. Spaghetti. It's going right on the fridge. What does Onyx do? Weapons expert. Your expertise to this mission, Dr. Wong. Gun? No, thank you. Maybe. Gun? <laughs> Is it gum? <laughs> but the rest of your country doesn't need Virginia's love right now. You know, the last time a state talked that way, we had to have a whole thing. And? And this time the other side has nukes. <sighs> Let them in. Jeez. All right. Well done, Doctor. Call me Helen. <laughs> Say goddamn what? Spaceman. Spaceman. <laughs> Every time I drive through Virginia, I always see them like Yeah. That's strange. It is strange. Communist and all goods are freely made. Communist bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I tell you, you'll tell everyone. But if I show you, you won't have to. How unsettling and cryptic. Oh God! <laughs> what the hell? My uh. God! Oh, they're loving in No, them. flea black! Sir, it's, a... it's some kind of body snatching hive mind! Finally, your religion comes in handy. Oh, no! Space war! Oh, I only uh... chance of meeting Will Smith! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it out of him. Oh, asshole, when I call, it's an actual emergency. Yeah, why would he call you president? Rick? Wait. Unity. Unity! Unity. Oh, the planet! <laughs> What the fuck are you spraying me with? A new scent I picked up after you left. I call it separation. You concocted a me repellent? Does that look like a bad idea? Ah! Oh, I'd hate to puke and then get puked in my mouth to be repuking. Ah! Yep. Dang I just it! Want to talk. I'm pretty sure you have trillions of cell phones. No, come back. Let's talk. <laughs> Thank God you had a crack team with you. Where's Helen? Helen? She initiated first name. <laughs> <laughs> Call on a chopper. I'm being cock blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe you and Unity should talk. How would you know? You're just a nutritionist. When you work in nutritionism, as long as I have, you get a certain feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Calm, Calm down. We came because we're worried about you. about you. Is it true you're looking for... Him again? Mm. You are our business. You quit that business, and you're fired from that business. And I'm using your last paycheck to cover the stapler you stole, which was my heart. <laughs> Civil War, baby! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, uh, that was supposed to be suppressive. <laughs> it's Civil War, baby! Cue up the dome. Yes, sir! Dome? Oh, for, yeah, we're dome in Virginia. <clears throat> Can they have this in WandaVision? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a big old dome. Ow! Uh, they're all bright and dead? <laughs> uh, Detach them from the hive mind? Yeah. She's up in space, maybe? Mr. President. Lady, you bring that ship to America's planet. I'm launching 4,000 warheads. 3,000 of which will turn out to work. Then I'll call <laughs> China, and you're really fucked. <laughs> You ghosted me to focus on your work. Your work is absorbing the universe, but it's my universe. Please go. We'll spray the Virginians before they touch anyone. I'm sorry you lost a finger, but that's the price of surprise butt play. Goodbye. Alien vessel is departing. Good job, people. I'll run the aerosol cannon from the chopper. We need the optics. Send out a press release. President sprays Virginia with the opposite of bullets. <laughs> uh, write it better. The opposite of bullets. <laughs> write it better. Uh... You okay? Yes. The news said Virginia was a hive mind. Yes. 
Was it? Yes. Oh my God, dude, whatever. When's the last time you saw your therapist? Today. Well, then she sucks. No shit. Well, stop yelling at me. I need boundaries. Well, here's a big one, fuckface. <laughs> sorry. Aw, he's just sorry. Arriving at the dome, sir. Good. I don't need anybody. What? What? I said good. <laughs> Tell me when we're there. We are. Roger that. Just gonna see how we're looking. And there's Helicopter One with the aforementioned gas, and you can actually see President Curtis inside checking his phone to see if this will make people like him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing short of literally a 100% approval rating is gonna save Curtis in the next election. A 100%. Let her rip, sir! 100% approval. Whoopsie! I I'll be right back. Sir? I just gotta get the thing. How is that gonna work? <laughs> Give it to me. Give me that hive. Ah. Uh, that's just. Uh, he's taken over. Loved ones are gathered here to reunite with the captives who appear to be walking quite eagerly and now running in perfect unison toward them. Such a beautiful scene. 100% approved. Yep. Hello, sir. <laughs> The president has saved us. He's the best president. The best man, really. It's ever. also His mother was darker, wrong. too. Uh -oh. It's not like the best. Somebody close the lady yeah. tunnel. The lady tunnel. No. <laughs> I thought Unity promised to never do this. That's not Unity. You kids stay inside and lock up. Dad's still out shopping. Then stay inside, lock up, and plug your ears. Where are you going? It's going to be the purge. Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. <laughs> oh, traffic. Yeah, in the red spot. Huh? Ah! Oh my god! Rick, is that true? She dumped me. Why would I answer her calls? Alright, I'm going to commit a cardinal sin in couples therapy here. But Rick, I think you're wrong. Bringing you was a mistake. Now you're asking her to both forgive you and solve it? Unity, I think the reason Rick brought me here is that he doesn't know how to indicate to you he's changed. Because he's changing very slowly. All right, anyone else want to call me a baby? Maybe we can drag this out until Earth is fully assimilated. All right. So you're asking for an invasion? A counter invasion. <laughs> a devasion. Be a lot of puking. <laughs> Man, everyone just puking on his. Oh. oh my God! He has a lot of experience doing this. Yep. Oh no, we've been taken over. Uh-oh. That's oh. a lot of mouth titties. Who are those? Oh my god! Why are you stopping? I've won you over? Oh, good! You're here! Unity! Kept them warm for you. Wait, Unity, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, Rick. That's everyone. I wouldn't be doing this for anyone else, Rick. Yeah, it was nice to team up again. No, I mean I wouldn't be doing it. I've never released hundreds of millions of people before. This is gonna suck. Just releasing the control on the Yeah. Wall. Right back to their phones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust you now. That's nice, but I don't trust you. Fair enough. Don't say I'm sorry now. Hey, Rick. It's Unity. Mm -hmm. Uh, give me a call, okay? Hey, Rick, listen, I'm just gonna stop by Virginia, okay? I don't know what state you live in, but I'll camp out there and try to reach you. Hope you're okay. Hey, Rick, David Miscavige here. <laughs> Heard you were saying some really great things about Scientology. <laughs> if you ever want to meet Travolta... And playback! <laughs> <laughs> don't take this the wrong way, but... I think I might need therapy. <laughs> Oh, Stabby. And we're back with Mr. Stabby. People come to my show because they want the experience. If they didn't want it, they'd stop coming. Your show has resulted in the deaths of 58,000 attendees. Jeez. Well, you're talking about it. 58,000. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I mean, on his planet, it must not be illegal to dab people. He's from Earth. He's from right? Earth. Or is he not from Earth? Where's he from? I don't know. He's being interviewed by space interview man. <laughs> What's his name again? Larry King. Yeah, Larry Gary. King. Gary. Gary King. <laughs> man, I like the episode, but I really wanted to see the... The Loch Ness the, Monster. The, and Lake yeah, Gary. the titanium yeah. silver bone werewolf Loch Ness Monster. Just, we're in Ohio, and we so rarely get any crypto activity, except for, like, Mothman coming across the river, so it would have been we, nice we to see. We get a little bit of, of uh, Bigfoot around here, too. Yeah, but that's bullshit. Yeah. Mothman's real. People have seen him. Yeah. Re- recently. Yep, yep. Yeah. They've said they have. What? <clears throat> Bigfoot likes... The Pacific Northwest. Who saw Mothman recently? Everybody, man. We have a festival. Yeah. But he's, he doesn't show up. There's like a stage. And like, he's invited. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> just picks up a kid and flies away. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're right. If we gave him an offering, he would probably show up. <laughs> we sacrifice a child to him every year. <sighs> no, that doesn't happen. But the Loch Ness Monster did. Uh, it had all of those crazy things happening. Uh uh, unfortunately, contracted wear aids, um, and then they killed it. Contracted wear aids. Yeah. It didn't contract anything. A leprechaun fucked it over, and it got wear aids. The it's, wear version of aids. I mean, they, they put the yeah. equivalent of <laughs> werewolf aids. Yes. yes. Silver bones. Yes. I get it. Yeah. It, it affected terrible. his immune system. But he didn't contract it. It wasn't like it was. Ah, oh, damn it! Now I caught the. the no. Yeah. The leprechaun gave it. Russia him. infected him. Yeah, promise. with a leprechaun. I guess, like, did Russia, like, catch a leprechaun and use a wish to give silver bones to the Loch Ness Monster? Is that what happened? Yes. Or there's some thing about, like, leprechauns being able to turn any, like, silver or blue-colored metal into silver? I feel like it would be a wish. Like, you catch Maybe. him at the rainbow. If I had a wish, it would be to just have all of the raw Keith David recordings for this, because I imagine it's a lot of him just laughing at the ridiculous <laughs> things he's forced to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I was love the him. one. Um, if I wanted to hear about all my fa- failures, I'd dig up my mother. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll call China, and you're really fucked. <laughs> yeah, uh, why? <laughs> the, uh, do you think that the Bigfoot picture... Because they said that here's flea flack or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might be able to tell the future. Might. Yeah. It's like, well, we never figured out for sure. Bigfoot. And it was like, ah, danger. And it gave a Bigfoot thing. And I was waiting for that yeah. to come back this episode. But, but maybe it, it won't be for. So is it a thing yeah. that it might come back? Yeah. Or is it a thing that, like, well, he can't tell the future? Hey, they ordered, like, what, 70 episodes two seasons ago. So that could be set up for, like, season 10. Yeah. I mean, sure, yeah. We don't know. Well, now we got to keep it in the back of our mind. Yeah. Like memory, Rick. Big foot attacking Quite literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every time I drive through Virginia and I see that motto, Virginia, it's what, a place for lovers or something Virginia like that. is for lovers. For lovers. I'm yeah. always confused. You start, amused. you start banging? No. I wish. No shit. I mean, there's a sign. No. no, I, no. <laughs> it was explained to me uh-huh. that, like, Virginia has such a variety of biomes and activities to do. Whatever you love doing, like rock climbing or mountain biking or or fishing or surfing, they have that. Well, that's so a place for hobbyists. For, it's for everybody. Sure, but I don't think lovers encapsulates all those things. It does. Well, lovers go they, rock climbing and fishing. No, I don't think so. Frisbee golf and because they, it's not for like. Lovers is in like sexual, although I know. they definitely but have that too. What's everybody's mind go to immediately? I'm not saying it doesn't make because sense. They I'm had, saying it's a poor PR yeah. thing because well, everybody's was, mind goes the wrong way. It was adopted because the like the major cities and stuff they yeah. would they would choose like okay this is our thing yeah like this place in Virginia is for mm-hmm. like spelunkers sure and they would say like. Spelunker lovers love here. And then this other city would have this. And yeah. then they combine them all. I was like, well, like, what can we do to like encompass all of these places where people love doing things? They arrived at lovers. Yeah. 
which I think we can all agree is the wrong destination to get to. It's A, but is it the right one? Is it a wrong one? I think that if your I don't if think your PR campaign is successful, but first you have to explain to everybody, hey, it's not what you think. It's failed on the outset. It is PR. It's supposed to instantly grab you. <laughs> and this one you go, huh? <laughs> yeah, but we're talking about it. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. We are. I mean, we are talking about it, but for the right reasons. 58,000 people dead. So They're need. talking about it. I always <laughs> done Rick and Morty, you know? They're yeah, talking yeah. About you're right. It. Like, it, it worked. Well, Pop yeah, because the writers were like, huh, that's fucked up. I'm going to write This is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were talking about, oh, it's for history lovers. Someone chimed in, it's for mountain lovers. The mountains are beautiful. Someone said, beach lovers. People started saying, well, it's for all these things. It's for all lovers. Yeah. Nope. Not good. I I'm not saying Ohio it's great. has it great. What is it now? It used to be the heart of it all, which I always kind of like because you can say, yeah. like, Ohio's kind of like a heart shape, and it's in this part of the country. You uh, know? It's birthplace of aviation. Right? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Though technically, like, they just took that shit down south and flew it there. You know? Yeah. You said, Ohio, it's for yeah. airplanes. Yeah. John Glenn was kind of from here. <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning, and then he left, and then he came back, and then he... <laughs> there's that. My mom uh, lived down the street from him. Yeah? Yeah. Hell yeah. But is that our motto? My mom lived down the street from John Glenn. We have That's quite a few presidents. You know <laughs> I will say with this, like, you can take the motto for Virginia and yeah. put in whatever it is that you like there and yeah. still be able to use the Virginia motto, right? I understand that. My only objection is just that when you first see it, my mind automatically goes to lovers the way the word lovers has been primarily used for years and years and years. The last and years. hundred and years. And what's wrong least. with that? I just don't think it should be the state motto. All right, fine. Well, Virginia, it's for haters. Yeah. Is that better? That's why. Ohio's for haters. <laughs> for haters in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> just say hobby. We when do you hate hobby. quite a few things. <laughs> no, it's for everything you love. All of it. Everything? Everything. Not everything. just hobbies. Literally everything. Like, I love yeah. the taste of Pepto Bismol. It's for That's Virginia what it's for. Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I guarantee you can find Pepto Bismol in Virginia. You know what? I'm staying corrected. You can find Pepto Bismol there. It's a good one. You can't find anything you don't love. Are you saying Pepto or Pepno? Pepto, but I might have said Pepno. Pepno. For funsies or because my speech slurs sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, so, I have a question. Do you think that, like, Unity and the therapist made it seem like after Rick ghosted Unity, after she broke up with him, that she was owed a response back from her phone call? Do you think that's the case? What? I lost you. Uh, Unity and Rick uh, break up. Yeah, Unity broke breaks up. up with Rick. Yeah, he she dumped him. Yeah. He, after that... She tries to get a hold of him again, yep. and he Ring refuses ring. to get a hold of him. I don't want to talk to you, dummy. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think, and then like the, the therapist and the way that he says the way he responds and the you to yourself is like, that was a shitty thing to do. Do you think that he's owed responding to, like, not ghosting her after she broke up with him? That he's owed not ghosting her? Yeah. It's like he was wrong to ghost her? Like, you're saying? shouldn't he have the right to like, hey, she doesn't want to be with me, I don't want to have contact with her and be no contact? Well... I'm not necessarily intentionally the right thing because ultimately we know that he's in a dark spot and he does need help and sure. he already recognized yeah. that. I was my my one small thing being like, well, he doesn't owe you a callback. You're not part of his life anymore. Like sure. he gets to control who he who he talks to. He could have checked his messages. Yeah. And that would have alleviated most of the, the Suffering situation. Of the people of Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Though they seem to be for the better. Except for those people that the president gunned down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so in a situation where Rick wanted to get back with her, is it his job to try to make the relationship get back together, or is it her job for dumping him to make it make it get back together? Did he want to get back together with her? That's not the question. Okay, so in a scenario if the situation where he was did, different, where he did want to get back together with her, yeah, and she's would, calling him to get a hold of him, is that okay then? If she's calling to get a hold of him, and then he calls to get a hold of her after that, yeah, I think that's yeah. okay. I was just thinking, because like, I remember back whenever I was in like sophomore year, uh -huh. like Melanie split with me. Yeah. And then like she was around me and stuff. Yeah. And she's like, why didn't you ask me back out? I'm like, well, you, you dumped me. Yeah. Why didn't you ask me back out? Sure. Because <laughs> you dumped yeah. me. 
Yeah. But like, but if you weren't interested in getting back with her, and then she was with you, mm -hmm. and try and get a hold of you, yeah, is it, do you have to respond to her? Should I tell her, hey, I don't want to be together? Yeah, like you did, have did, to do did, that. Did Rick? Oh, I, do I? So I should never tell her that. No, I'm saying like, do you? Are you have to? And if you don't, it's a mistake. I feel like you should. Yeah. Like, no, you know what? I don't want to be together. Sorry. Hmm. Like, I don't, right? I, I don't feel like you're necessarily owed that. Like, you've already broken up the relationship, and if I choose not to respond to you coming back, I think that's my prerogative, right? I thought it. I think it is. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like you should just say at least one time, no, I'm done. I don't want to be with you. Yeah. Right? As opposed to this person who, like, dumped you and is like, oh, man, I, I, I would say get that might be I a... So uh, I suppose happened. it could be a... Let me call them. Like, it could be a... a, a a nice thing to do, but like, do you have to? Are you owed, like, is that person owed that? Why not? I don't know. I mean, we broke up. Like, I get to choose who I talk with, and if I don't want to talk with you, I don't need to talk with you. I feel like you're in the wrong. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, like, I feel how long that's is this, because how long we know unity. I mean, she is, but like, if it's really... a toxic person that I like. I'm happy that I'm no longer with. I mean, sure, yeah. Because I've I've broken yeah, up with I'd, people that I, I I recognize. Oh, I should not have been with that person. Glad I haven't I haven't talked with them or something. Sure, but you there. said you broke up with them. Well, no, right? I'm sorry. Let me rephrase. They broke up with me. Okay. If they broke up with me, and then later I'm like, actually, that wasn't a good relationship with me for me or something. Like I'm not owed. Like if they got you know messaged me right now, I'm like, hey, actually, I'm not owed to speak you know, speak with them at all, am I? I mean, are they? Constantly, and you're just ignoring it and ghosting it? Seven messages, or how many messages? Five. Four, four, five messages? Four, actually, four, yeah. technically, because one yeah. was from Space Mormons. Space Mormons. Over the course of how long? I mean, I feel like, what's the harm in you saying, hey, this is Eric, mm -hmm. I'm not interested, I don't want to pursue this anymore. Sure. Sorry, don't yeah. kick over Virginia. I would say that's, <laughs> that's the, <laughs> you know, I, I would say that's a cur uh, uh, the courteous thing to do, but I don't know if it's necessarily... Like the thing you should do, or you're an asshole. Isn't normal? I mean, I would probably be curious. The courteous. thing that, like, if you're not courteous, then you are kind of an asshole. I don't know. I don't know if the default is that you must respond. Especially, I'm not saying unity is, but especially if it turns out that this was a toxic Wait, relationship. The default is that you must respond. So if your phone rings, the default is not to answer it and respond. I've I've clearly like yes, screened my sure. calls and not answered. I'm pretty sure Even the default of someone's phone trying is, to get a hold of is me. to answer it, right? That's the default. Um, like if someone's calling you, the default, the reason they're calling, the default is for communication to answer. Well, I would yeah. imagine the choice is to pick up or not. And that's the, the action. So the def default is to not answer. The default is to not answer I the phone? I think so, yeah. I mean, at least that's how I work my phone these days. <laughs> when I can tell who's calling. <laughs> I feel like, but you look at it. Why yeah, do you I'll look, look at you it look and at make it a decision. To answer, yeah. and you make the decision not to answer. The well, I, I, would say phone, I would say I make the decision to answer, and the default is not to, but I suppose it can go If the default way, was right? not to, I feel like you would just leave it and not even look at it, right? The default I mean, I, is to not answer this ringing device. I've certainly that's my default. I certainly have done that. Your default is it rings. Let yeah. me answer it. Oh no, wait! I don't want to answer that number. Sure. And you put it down. But well, your default is like, you're going to answer that. Caller ID changes. I feel like the default for me, because I used to not know whoever was calling. So anybody, it could be important or something. But now I can look and be like, that's clearly spam. I'm, I'm not going to answer this. You know. Sure. I'm not making the choice to pick up. Sure. But that's because so the default of a unique be situation. Your default is to pick up. Is it unique? Because I'm looking at it every time. Why are you looking at it? Well, because I want to see who's calling me. Because the default would be to answer it. Yeah, and then I choose Otherwise, to Otherwise, you would ignore it, really. No, I choose to and answer not look it or not. At it at all. I feel like the default for me is like, I don't know what, that's going to voicemail. <laughs> and that's, like, not, that's not the default, though. Isn't it because you, you do nothing, whereas the other one is to do something? The absence of like action doesn't action, make it the default. Uh, yeah, that's I, not a default. I kind of feel like it is. Maybe I'm wrong about that one, but... I feel like that's the like is me, your, that's the definition is your default of in me day? not breathing is not the default. Yeah, it's like is your default in the day not to go to work? Um, no, because that's the inaction. That would not be the default though. Sure, your default is like, well, I go to work today. I'm I, I feel I'm like generally you... contracted to go to work. I'm not like I'm not, I'm not I'm not forced to answer the phone. I'm not talking about forcing you to answer the phone. I'm yeah. saying the default. Yeah, what no, is, I understand. And the, the null, sense, the, high, the null What would you do normally? I'm going to wake up Monday, and mm -hmm. what's your default? I'm yeah. going to school, or I'm going to work. That's my default. Yeah. Right? When, when the I've, phone rings, the default is, oh, it's ringing. Mm -hmm. Let me answer it. Oh, wait, I don't want to answer that phone. Sure. 
you've made a choice not to answer. But the default that you reached for it hmm. was to answer it yeah. or to decide if you were going to answer it, right? I feel like if yeah, the that's default I, that's was I feel to like not default, answer the phone, you wouldn't own a phone. Yeah. Or you would just let it ring and ignore it. You know what I mean? Hmm. So I feel like the default is that you yeah. answer it and you make it a self-conscious decision not to pick it up. Sure. Is like that the the extra step. Like I said, I think it did shift with me with the with the advent of caller ID. I think it shifted be, with everybody being able to yeah being able to screen it. Well, sure. Um, yeah. So I yeah, I mean, I'm not saying like because I treat it this way, <coughs> thus I treat all actions the same way in terms of like what I default to or not. But ultimately, this all kind of came back to. I was in a relationship with somebody, they chose to stop the relationship, I'm no longer in a relationship, and I should have no uh, uh, prerogative or responsibility to like pick it back up later. You should have a prerogative. I, sh I should have a prerogative? Is that what I was trying to say? Yeah. Okay. Because that's your choice. Okay, gotcha. It's, it's your prerogative. Sure. Yeah. I, I would say I, I don't think I have a responsibility to continue that if I don't want to. And there's no other stipulations that need to be considered in this? Like, how long you were with somebody, if you got kids with this person, like, none of that matters. I mean... Like, you, you have kids with this woman, she breaks yeah. up with you, she calls you, you just don't answer. I don't need to talk sure. to you anymore, you broke up with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, guess, I feel like there's uh, a lot of things I guess it's kinda... relative to the, I mean, I don't know this answer for Rick, but it's relative to the heartbreak that I felt and how much pain it caused me, yeah. and if I feel like it's worth it or not. And if I feel like it's if I, it's not, then I don't think I'm necessarily blamed for that. But. Sure. I also think Rick is in a situation where he pushes everyone away. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sure. Right. That's why I'm trying like, to go more to... Like you had, um, shoot, is it Beth? Which one's the daughter? Beth. Yeah. That one's Beth, okay. Summer is the granddaughter. I was like, shoot, which one's which one's his daughter and which yeah. one's the granddaughter? So when Summer yeah. walked in, yeah. uh, like he was like, they like had their back and forth or whatever, yeah. and then she left. Yeah. And then he said sorry. Exactly. But he pushes everyone away. He and then even later on, he's like, I said sorry. He's like, I said quietly so no one could hear it. You know, yeah. like, he has this this way of being anyway. Yeah. So I think. And in that situation, I would say he's he owes that to Summer because he's currently in a relationship with Summer as his, her grandfather, right? Like, he hasn't, like, stepped away or they haven't disconnected or went no contact. He stepped away like before, that. right? He has before, but currently not. Like, sure. they're living together. So he does owe that relationship some courtesy. But what it makes you sound is like I would still owe uh, my ex that same courtesy. I mean, I I think so, but I think like what I was saying is I think there's things that go on within mm -hmm. it, right? Like if yeah. if it was like a one week relationship, sure, you know, it might not be like you know what I don't want to talk. But if you were together yeah. with someone for like years, sure, or if you have a kid with them, like I don't think it's like well they broke up with me. I'm never I'm never answering their phone call. Mm -hmm. I don't owe them anything. It's like well you have a kid or yeah. you know whatever the case is. Sure. So I think there's. I think it was wiggle room. Mm -hmm. I think that. What if it's a week and you do have a kid? Both. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, so Rick I, and I, I think have it's, children together. I think it's not that hard to like have like if she's calling for mm -hmm. Rick to have just been like, "Hello." Yeah. Look, I don't want to do this anymore, mm -hmm. and then maybe she would just let it go. Now, if it continues going on, yeah. I feel like there's more reason to either ignore it or like call. I don't know space police for a restraining order. <laughs> I don't know how you do that with unity. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you gotta do with that. I love that I'm from the conversation so down to real world, and then you have to qualify it with <laughs> space police. Space police. I don't oh, know. That's funny. But I think there's something like, like yeah. that that you could do. Gotcha. Then. Okay. I was just curious. <coughs> it went into a good conversation. The default. Yeah. I, I want to know what this guy, because so like, no. people puked, and then they answered the phones. Uh-huh. And then they puked, and they just got in the car and started honking. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't get to read what that guy did at the computer when he puked. I yeah. think it's like one of those really shitty, like, internet... It was like literally ten people, you... Ten popular things to low-key love. Ten literally popular... Top ten literally popular things. things. to low-key love. And if you're in Virginia, those things are the things that you're a lover of. I suppose so, man. And that's what he's writing. Yeah, that's what he's writing about. You think he's writing, or is he reading it? Man, I thought he was writing, but you're right. He might just I, be reading it. Like, mm. he might need to be told what he likes, so, because he doesn't know what he likes, because Virginia has this standard of, like, no, if you're here, you gotta love something. He's like, gotcha. oh, no, I don't love anything. So no. he's looking up what he loves. I yeah. think he's writing it. Yeah. Because his plant is dying. <laughs> don't, don't ask me to explain. No, I, I accept. Calvin's right. What? Yep. 
This is the kind of dead-end job that you would have a plant at your desk and let it die in front of you. That's some, yeah, man, you went deep, deep between the, the lines there. Yeah. Also, between two ferns, yes. If I Google something uh -huh. and one of these articles pop up, yeah. I stop caring about the thing that I Googled I know. because I know I'm never going to get an answer. Yeah, you know that it's going to like cover like one thing and then you get to the bottom and it says next. And you're going to hit that, but right before you hit it, another pop-up happens and next goes down here. It's always you hit that pop-up and it comes up. You read know? more, you're always yeah. scrolling down. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. And it it's takes like, 12 pages to go through. Yep. I find a news article where it's mm -hmm. like, you know, Harrison Ford, never going to be Indiana Jones again. It's oh, like, oh no. it's this I had to find this out. So you know Harrison Ford was Indiana Yeah, I know that. Yeah. It's like, he also played Hans. Oh, yes, I know that. Born in 1920. <laughs> what is the thing you told me about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, one of my favorite subreddits is called Saved You a Click. And all it does is it just takes articles like that and just tells you what you wanted to know in the, in the title. Like, if they would have just put that in the title, I'd be like, ah, thanks. Exactly. I got what I need. But then they wouldn't have the click. They I know. Wouldn't the click. They but wouldn't have all those also, pages loading with all those fucking ads. As you scroll, ads. there's an ad every yep. other paragraph, or every paragraph is an ad, and I'm just like, yep. just, where's the part These of the These websites make thousands and thousands right? of dollars and a day. And the state yeah. of Virginia would tell you that if that's something you love, you must move here, because it's for lovers. No. It's you have to move everywhere it. on the internet. And it's for lovers. Yeah. I love Keith David. I know. <coughs> I love that he is. These episodes of the president so much. Yeah, yeah. I, I got that worried because he called like oh, the president, Keith David, right? And he hung up like, oh, we're not gonna get him. I know. Okay. <laughs> he, he opens like, the door. You know I'm out here, right? And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, yeah. Keith David's here. Yep. He does have a lady tunnel. A lady. And that's not just. Did anyone close the lady tunnel? Ah. Like, that's not just for sex workers. And it gets plenty of use. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need a poll for this episode. Hmm. Uh, Bigfoot Yeti, will it happen? I know it's very similar to last week's, but I mean, this one it was maybe. It might have been. It might have been by the future. Yeah, that one. I feel, I understand. It's very similar to the last poll, but I feel like we have to do it. Bigfoot Yeti, does it show up in his flea flack? Real? Well, big he, yeah. So will Bigfoot attack Rick? Because that's yeah. what the picture was, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And maybe it doesn't have to be a Bigfoot. Maybe it can be just a big hairy alien. That goes. That sounds ridiculous. Where would you find that? Far, far away. This played out long enough. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you miss out on next week's episode. And vote in the poll over at blindwave.com. We'll talk about that at the beginning of next week's episode. I can't talk anymore because I was choking myself. Calvinster. And subscribe. Because if you love Blind Wave, you gotta move to Virginia. Hmm. Do we love Virginia? We're close ish. West Virginia's right there. Ugh.